Hello everyone and welcome back to the Node.js course. In this lesson, you will learn about how to get data from MongoDB using Mongos. In previous lessons, we just learned how to create a model and schemas. Here in the models folder, we can see our schema that including title, snippet, body and then the model. Okay. Now in our express app, we are getting data from that block.js file we are exporting that here and we are getting that data to this block constant okay now down to the below we have our add block page inside that we are saving our data to mongodb now we are using save method to put that data then we are sending that data to response now let's save a new block document into mongodb collection i'm going to go ahead and show you my collection here this is the one and we are going to just change this into new block 2 and then i'm going to just visit to that page here i'm going to say localhost and the port number and then the url is add hyphen blog now we just added our new document here new block 2 and we can refresh this now here we go we have total documents of 2 alright now let's see how to get this data into node.js to do that I'm going to create a new page below I'm going to say app.get as a route handler and then the path will be all hyphen blocks and this will include the request and the response object okay now equals ending angle bracket dresses all right now all we have to do is say block that is our block model that we created here using schema and this is the model all right now we are exporting that here and we are getting that from here all right now here all we have to do is say find method now this find method will allow us to get all the data from mongodb collection and then all we have to do is we can tag on the method that is then because this method is a asynchronous method that means it will take some time to works then we have to identify whether it's working or end up with the error now this method will allow us to identify this is working then also we can use catch method to identify it has an error all right now in the then method inside then method we have to pass in a parameter as a callback function here now put parenthesis inside parenthesis we have result then equals ending angle bracket curly braces now we can create line space like this to simplify the code now all we have to do is i'm going to send this result into our response we can say send method and we have to pass in result like this all right that is it and to identify it has an error in catch method i'm going to create the callback function now this will include the error equals ending angle bracket and then braces inside that i'm going to write console.log and then i'm going to say error all right that is it and we can go to all hyphen blocks page now localhost colon 3000 all hyphen blocks those are the old documents that are available in our mongodb collection here right we have f9 b7 okay f9 and then b7 all right how we can get one single document by it is id for example this id for that i'm going to go ahead and create a new route handler here below I can say app.get now this path is 
single hyphen block now I'm going to say forward slash of it now this will include the request and the response object now equals ending angle bracket and then braces inside that all we have to do is we have to say block dot find by ID okay now this will include the ID of document I'm going to just copy this ID and then paste that here all right now we can tag on the then method because this is asynchronous this will take some time to work and then inside that we can create the callback function now this will include the result now we can send some data to our response we can send the result also we can tag on the cache method of it let's just simplify this is also now this will include the callback function with the error inside parenthesis I'm going to say ERR now inside braces I'm going to just console.lock the error alright that is it and in the browser I'm going to visit to localhost port number and then single hyphen blog now we have our document here for f9 identification this one okay that is it and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you